Hey, how's it going everybody? Burp right here, and in today's beer review, we're going to be getting our freak off. So grab your handcuffs and your condoms, and let's do the damn thing. So today's ale is brewed with vanilla beans and natural flavors, and it's called Dirty Little Freak. And this one's from Duclaw Brewing Company. It comes in at 5.8% per volume. And on the side here it says, a dominant blend of roasted malt, coconut caramel, and chocolate essences, barely restrained by a gentle hot bite that tantalizes your senses all the way through to a satisfying finish. Submit to indulgence, but be warned, there is no safe word. Respect the fluid. Now, this is awesome. Again, I don't know anything about this brewery. It's my first time trying anything from them, but uh, being a huge fan of coconut flavors in general, I really wanted to give this one a try. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the top. Top says, craft be cherished, rules be damned. All right, so like usual, we're gonna take a look at the pour. So this dirty little freak right here had about two fingers worth of head, dissipated rather quickly, and I don't expect there to be a whole lot of lacing in the glass, but even sitting just this far away, I'm just getting uh, a lot of coconut and vanilla, little chocolatey notes just wafting over to me. So I gotta go ahead and take a sip of this. It smells so good. Oh yeah. It's clean, smooth, light, refreshing. Again, the body is just it's almost like water, it's very thin, there's not a whole lot there to it. And I'm telling you, these flavors are just outstanding. It's very similar to me of, of Death by Coconut from Oscar Blues Brewing Company, except for that one being a porter and having a whole lot more thickness to it, again, a lot more body. This one, uh, it, the flavors are a little bit more muted compared to that one, but you're still getting this delicious, earthy chocolate kind of tone, along with the, the vanilla touch, obviously coming from the vanilla beans, and this absolutely delicious coconut flavor. If you're a fan of coconuts, as I am, or just coconut flavor in general, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. At least, that's the impression I've got so far. Let me take one more swig. This is just really good. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna sit back, relax, because as a beer warms up, certain flavors can come out more, and others can be muted some. So. Uh, I'm gonna do my usual thing, enjoy this, and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts at the last drop. And here we are at the last drop, and like always, this one's for all of you, so salud. Oh man, yeah. Again, from start to finish, it's just an absolutely outstanding beer. This is one I could easily just smash if I'm sitting around with a bunch of my friends, we're having a good time, we're relaxing. This is definitely, it's just so easy, light, refreshing, such a, I don't know, such a clean, smooth body. It's so easy to put down. Again, uh, I would rather pick up something like this than, than Budweiser or any other mass-produced beer that's out there. I mean, it's, it's just as easy to drink, but the flavors, man, outstanding. Again, uh, pretty much lasted those, those same great chocolate coconut vanilla flavors just continue to go through as the beer warms up. You don't really lose any of that. And it just, it's just beautiful beer. This is definitely one I give two thumbs up. If you happen to see this one while you're out, pick it up, give it a try. Again, if you're a fan of the flavors I've mentioned, you're going to love this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, be sure and hit this button right here to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And you can always check out one of these previous beer reviews to kind of get an idea of uh, some of the different flavor some of the different brews I've had over the years. Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks so much for the support. I appreciate it. I couldn't do this without all of you. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.